What is going on YouTube? I am Valentino and here I am today to show you guys about the all new 2018 Corvette ZR1 that was just announced. After four years with no ZR1, it is finally about to be released on November 12th in Dubai. Now with this special track edition Corvette, people might ask what's so special about this car and what makes it so different than other Corvettes? Well let me tell you, and you Hellcat owners are not going to like this. Alright now this Corvette ZR1 will be coming with a 750 horsepower, dual overhead cam, supercharged V8, and as you can see that is 43 more horsepower than the Hellcat. And with the older Z06, how it used to beat the Hellcat and just kind of like pull on it a little bit, this car will put the Hellcat in the fucking dust, literally. With that much power and this new track performance and everything like that, this car will be a beast. And you might ask, how do we know this so far? Well, a document released later last year revealed that the Corvette will be coming with a dual of a cam V8, codenamed the LT5, which the ZR1 used to have when it first came out back in the 90s and 80s. And it did not say that this Corvette will be coming with a specific motor, but according to this super tall hood that the Corvette has, and with a new dual overhead cam setup, which makes the engine taller, which will make up for that taller hood. Which makes sense because the Corvettes now have a cam and engine design, which means that the cams are built inside of the engine, which makes it a smaller and lower engine, so they need a higher hood. So this makes us believe that the Corvette will be coming with a dual overhead cam setup. So if it does have the dual overhead cam setup, it will have a taller hood to make up for the clearance. And Car and Driver announced in early November of 2017 that it does have 750 horsepower. And how do we know it's supercharged? Well, hear this sound clip and let me know what the fuck you guys think because that is obviously a supercharger to me. <laughs> why we believe that this Corvette will come with the LT5 dual overcam motor is because last year a salesman from Ohio named Rick Conti posted a picture of an LT5 engine cover that had Corvette on it. So it makes us believe that this will be coming with that. And obviously this makes sense, you know. And you might be wondering how we know it's called the ZR1 because it could be called pretty much any name. If you look at the pictures and zoom in a little bit on the rims, it will say ZR1 right on them. And if you look at the calipers, you can tell that they're blue just like the original ZR1. It just makes sense to put a ZR1 with a new C7 as there hasn't been one in the past four years. Now that we know that this car will be coming with a supercharged V8, what kind of transmission will it have? Well, as of now, the Corvette C7 Z06 comes with an eight-speed automatic and a six-speed manual. And this car might be coming with the eight-speed automatic, but it's not likely because of the new 10-speed that it came out by Ford NGM. It just makes sense to put that new 10-speed in to get the best lap times and to keep up with the new demands of nowadays cars. And from the sounds of it, from GM testing this new car, it sounds like it could be a 10 speed because of the smooth, quick upshifts that it has. Because no human can replicate those shifts. Like it's pretty much impossible to beat a computer, you know? Now with the new design for the ZR1, it is obvious that it would have some new aerodynamic changes to make up for the track package that it does have. With this car, it will have a wider front bumper, some bigger air ducts, some bigger grills to direct more airflow with the car. A sporty raised hood to make up for the LT5 to make clearance for it. An aggressive 10 spoke star design wheels that with some meaty tires. And some zero ones have a big old wing on the back, some have a little wing. So you know it makes us think that they're picking up different aerodynamic packages or cooking up something like a 1LE type package for the Corvette Zero One. And just like with the Z06, how you can choose from a hard top or a convertible top, this Corvette Zero One will be the first Corvette Zero One without convertible, as it was never offered before from Chevy. So for you convertible lovers, you finally got that option now with this Corvette Zero One. Be ready for this coming out in Dubai on November 12th, which is tomorrow if you're watching this video today when it first came out. And yeah, compared to the Z06, you'll see a new Top Dog Vet. There'll be a track killer, track focus, and just pretty much killing anything in his path. That sounds like it's from hell, and it feels like it's from hell. But yeah, with 750 horsepower and the arrow that it has, you will see it dominating the track without no issue. And I can't wait to see some videos of it and I can't wait to feel that power, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get my hands on one to review it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Please smash that like button. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.